Um, as far as uh, customization, um, customization is uh, very much a different than it has been in the past. So, uh, for example, if we do uh, order tracker, because that's what I've been using, um, you can click here and you can go directly to customization. Alternatively, uh, and then you will get this option here where it'll ask you if you want to use the base um, or use the current customization layer that is being used. So uh, we'll just use current layer here. I'll show you guys how to add a, um, you know, kind of just show you the, the, the basics in, the, in here. Um, this is your main page here where it shows you all the different items. If you look here, this is a, a tab um, and this is a detail screen. You can tell by the icons here um, and the tab you won't be able to make any, uh, any changes to. Uh, even though it lets you make a modification, but you won't be able to drag a button into into this, for example. Uh, as you can see, there's a there's the, the do not you know uh, the circle with a line in it, um, and that's and, and that's you know that's that's normal for a tab. Um, as far as the details, however, those you can definitely uh, definitely add stuff in. And you, you'll see there's the same layout here. It's just that that is the tab, the panel tab, and this is the panel sheet, essentially. So if you wanted to add a button, you just drag it over on the screen and you can drag it anywhere as you want, basically. And, um, and then here, you've got your properties. Yeah. So right now it's generated the system ID here. Um, so you got your test button. Um, and, um, and then you can basically use this ID uh, to generate your uh, event. So now that you've got this uh, button in here, you can then create a new, ev new event. Um, so uh, from here, and this is your event page, here is your uh, row rules. So you can set a variety of row rules here. Um, no. That's, that looks like that's system locked, so. Um, you can either create new ones, and often you can, um, uh, you know, get into these uh, system um, locked views, and you can copy them and have them, you know, add your own functionality to them, much the way you can do in, um, you know, for, you know, gr uh, grabbing uh, native control references in the current customization layer. So. Um, from here on the events page, this is what uh, would do uh, what you how you would create an event, you know, for example. So if I wanted to create a new event, um, I just click on the new events uh, tab there or the button and then um, and then I'd name it. And then if you wanted to, you need to click that add trigger button. Sorry about that uh, here. Okay, and so you can go through here on the tools here and you can set you know, a variety of events. Um, uh, again, these are all very new. So there's, uh, there's quite a bit of, um, uh, you know, quite a bit to, to, to figure out with these, but as they are, uh, you know, it's obviously a very graphical interface here. Um, you can, um, yeah, basically you just drag the items in, uh, essentially. So what we'll do here is I was going to launch the, the sales order pick list, but what we'll do here is we'll do a dialogue rather. I'll just show you how to do a, um, a, a basic text uh, box here. So now that you've got the dialogue show uh, uh, item in here, you want to go over to properties. Um, and then, 
type is information and I'm sure that they're going to add a uh, drop down here for information exception. These are the, this is the type of message that you're showing. Um, here is your message. And, um, and then you can also, you know, programmatically or add an event here. Um, there's not a lot of uh, information on this event viewer yet or event editor yet, um, but uh, it uses JSON um, uh, uh, syntax. So uh, this is where you define any custom, you know, um, custom dialogues that you would want. So on confirmation, it does this. On no, it does this. On cancel, it does this. So each of these is like an event in this um, in this dialog. So and you. I believe this is where we'd put our test button, our, our ID for our button. So now that we've got that, we could save this here. It does take a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now we've got this. You can preview your customization using this little play button here at the top. And then you can click the button. I'm not sure if it fires the logic when you're in a preview mode. Um, but essentially here is, okay, yeah, so here is a one that I've built before. Um, this test button just shows a regular information. I must have missed a parameter in here or something like that. But essentially, that's how you would build uh, an event that and tie it to a button. Um, so you can, like I said, you can either access the customization from the ellipsis in the, uh, when you launch the form, or uh, you can go to, uh, uh, kinetic application maintenance here. No, no, this is where you would turn it off. Apologies here. Uh, application Studio homepage, that's it. Some very new features here. So, and then from here you can, um, it's gonna load all of the apps and reports and processes in here. And you can then go ahead and double click on whichever one you want to modify essentially and it'll 